What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John plays here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys another post story checklist item. How to catch all of the Tapu Guardians. These four legendary fairy type guardians are based off of the four Hawaiian gods of war and conflict. All four of them have a base stat total of 570, and they share the exact same base stat total with all of the Ultra Beasts and Sil Valley. They also have a signature move called Nature's Madness, which brings the opposing Pokemon's HP down to half of its current total, the same as Rattata's signature move, Super Fair. When you catch Tapu Koko, he also gives you their Z Crystal, Tapu Ninium Z. This activates the move Guardian of Alola, which brings an opposing Pokemon's HP down to 75% of its current HP. Tapu Koko is a guardian deity in Mele Mele Island, and it's first seen in the prologue of the game. He has the fastest base stat speed of all fairy types. He has a signature ability, Electric Surge, and it causes an electric terrain when entering the battlefield. All special terrains only affect Pokemon on the ground. This excludes flying types, Pokemon with Levitate, Pokemon under the effects of Magnet Rise or Telekinesis, anyone holding a balloon, and Pokemon currently executing a move like Bounce, Dig, Dive, Phantom Force, Fly, etc. Electric Terrain prevents Pokemon from being affected by Sleep or Yawn, and it also causes Rest to fail. In addition, it boosts the power of Electric type moves by 50% for all Pokemon on the field. Tapu Lele is the guardian deity of Akala Island. Its design is most likely inspired by the Hawaiian god Kane. Kane is a creator god, bestowing life into the first human in Hawaiian mythology. Possibly why its design is based off a of butterfly emerging from its cocoon. He is a psychic fairy type, and his ability is Psychic Surge. It causes a psychic terrain, which prevents Pokemon from being hit by moves with increased priority, as well as boosting the power of all psychic type moves by 50%. Tapu Bulu is the guardian deity of Ala Ala Island, and he is a grass fairy type. His bull design may be inspired by Lono, the Hawaiian guard of agriculture, abundance, and peace. His signature ability, Grassy Surge, causes a grassy terrain. It causes all Pokemon on the ground to gain 1 16th of their HP back every turn, very similar to Leftovers. It also boosts the power of grass type moves by 50%, and it reduces damage taken by Bulldoze, Earthquake, and Magnitude by half. Tapu Fini is the water fairy type guardian deity of Pony Island. Its mermaid slash siren design may be inspired by Kanu Loa, last of the four major Hawaiian gods and god of the ocean. Kanaloa's association with the underworld may inspire the ruins of hope, and Tapu Fini's shrine said to be where life ends its journey. Its ability Misty Surge causes a misty terrain, which is fairy type. It prevents Pokemon from being afflicted by status conditions or yawn. This also causes rest to fail. It also halves the damage of dragon type moves. All of these Pokemon have a catch rate of three which sucks. It's, it's the same as most legendaries that are difficult. To catch any of them, you'll need a powerful false swiper, a paralyzer, or sleeper. Also, grab a lot of timer balls. After the 11th turn of battle, they become the most effective ball to use. The first Island Guardian battle with Tapu Koko is automatically initiated as soon as you beat the Elite Four and become champion. But there's no save point before that. So if you don't have a Pokemon with a sleep move, which of course can only be used after electric terrain is gone, or a false swiper, you might want to think about using your master ball on it. If you get it down right before the red with no status condition, an ultra ball only has a 5% catch rate. And if you accidentally defeat it, you'll be able to go back to the ruins of conflict and challenge it again after you better prepare. Tapu Lele is found at the ruins of life. I'm not going to go into too much explanation as that location is already marked on your map. This is next to where you battled Olivia for your grand trial. On Akala Island, located north of the Akala outskirts, at the southeast corner of the island. Enter, use Machamp's strength, and begin the battle. But before you begin, you might want to make sure you save your game just in case you kill it. So I'm going to be going out of order and save the hardest for last. And also, Tapu Fini's situation is very similar. He's found at the Ruins of Hope on Pony Island, east of Pony Breaker Coast. This is at the southeast of the third island as well. For Feeny, he's a little bit more difficult than the other two I mentioned so far, just because he has a move that restores his HP every turn. Now for the hardest Tapu to find, and probably why you clicked on this video. 
Tapu Bulu, well, he's kind of a dick. You know that abandoned Mega Mart with all the ghosts in it that you had to go find that mimic you? Well, Tapu Bulu did that stuff. He destroyed that entire town. And now he lies at the ruins of abundance hidden in the Hyena Desert. And Hyena Desert is such a pain. It's a maze-like area requiring rezoning in and out of areas and paying attention to little tiny stacked rocks. Exciting, right? Now, I could sit here and tell you the exact location of the rocks and how many little tiny rocks to count, or you could just grab some max repels and go this way. Up. Right. Up. Through this area which requires Mudsdale to go right again. And then back left. Now, if you look at the top area, there should be three stones. If so, go up and you're there. Some people say that doing it this way, there won't be three stones at the top, in which case zone down once and then back up and then up and you should be there. Now that you finally found where Tapu Bulu has been hiding, wear it down and throw your balls at its face. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, all of the Tapu Guardians. One more thing to knock off your checklist for your post story. Was this helpful? Leave a comment down below. Check out these other videos. Until next time, Austin John out.